So, you know, just got back from this 10-day trip. Um, talk about, uh, you know, how, um, like, how it came about and, you know, um, how excited, you know, you were for the opportunity to do something like this. Well, uh, there's a club director out of Marengo, Illinois, Club Fusion, who put together a team to go on this trip. He just kind of picked girls from different schools that he had known. And I had played against that club my whole life, so he called Coach Dunbar and said that it would be a good opportunity for me. And she called me into the office and we talked about it and how we'd make it work. And then I went. So um, I was really, really, really excited to be able to go over there and experience international volleyball because it is so different and experience the different places in Europe. So I was very lucky to be able to do it. We flew into Dubrovnik, Croatia, and then we sight seat there for a while and then we um, drove to Montenegro and we played a club team for two days there. We got to see around there, see the beaches there, eat the food, hang out. And then we went back to Croatia and went to four different cities in Croatia and then drove to the tournament in Pula, and then went to Venice after the tournament was over. So we were all over the place. Um, but So we'd drive up the coast, but then we'd stop in the different cities up the coast. So we kind of broke up the drives a little bit, and then we ended in Venice. So you got a chance to, um, to see a lot of sights, do a lot mm -hmm. of things. What were um, some of the favorite things you did outside of um, playing? Um, definitely the cliff jumping. We went one day. That was really cool. And then we got to swim under the cliff and go into this cave. And I had an underwater camera, so we took a bunch of videos and pictures under there. That was really cool. Um, and then Venice, of course. It's beautiful. The food's amazing. And everywhere you turn is a different little street you can go down and find new things. So probably those two things were my favorite. I think the experience was awesome. It was unlike anything I've ever done. Playing the international game is different. The ball is different. The gyms were different. The opponents don't even speak English, so you don't know what they're saying, what they're doing. Um, I think it was really cool to be able to bring that back now. And I played a bunch of back row, so I'll be able to bring that to the team here. And just learning how to hit against those huge girls, I think, will really make a difference for me once we start playing again. Have you been able to, uh, since you've been back, to be able to kind of share the experience with uh, with your teammates and kind of going forward, uh, you know, upcoming season, that kind of thing? Yeah, I've talked with them a little bit about it and showed a bunch of pictures, of course, and I was texting most of them every day, you know, we had a match this time and it was awesome, or we have a match later tonight, you guys can watch on this live stream, so I kept up with them the entire time. We ended up fourth, but... Um, you know, we lost in the semifinal match to the college national team, and that was a great experience to be able to play them. I know growing up with a lot of those girls playing against them, that was cool to be able to play them in Europe. So it was a really good experience, a lot of good volleyball. Um, I think it gave me a chance to see what it would be like if I would go play in a different country after school, and ultimately that was Coach Jumber's goal for me, is that she wanted me to see if that would be something I'd be interested in. And after the trip, I'm totally interested in it. It was so much fun. and. Being able to experience the different cultures, the different people, the different style of game, everything was just amazing and totally something I would want to do.